So how does one reduce fractions? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and fractions are not the most pleasant expressions to work with, but you know they are a necessary evil. And sometimes you have fractions that are you know, large that you want to reduce in what they call lowest terms. So in the next couple of minutes, we'll be looking at how you reduce fractions uh, in a couple of strategies. So the one thing that you do have to keep in mind, though, before we go into any strategies is your multiplication table knowledge is very, very critical because that allows us to reduce the fractions as they come along. So suppose you have a fraction of the nature 9 over 12. Now, looking at both numbers, what you have to ask yourself in reducing these is, what is the largest number that goes into 9 and 12 simultaneously? Well, you know 9 can be expressed as 3 times 3, and 12, after some thought, can thinking 3 times 4. Well, if you think about a number that they both have in common, that will, a number will both go into both of them, then that is the number that you divide by to reduce. So for example, because 3 is mentioned in 9 and 12, you can divide both numbers by 3, and as a result, the fraction will be reduced because 9 divided by 3 is going to be 3 over, and then 12 divided by 3 is going to give you 4. So 9 twelfths is going to give you 3 quarter. Now, here's another strategy. Suppose you want to divide 28 by 52. It's a pretty large fraction, more so than 9 twelfths. Now what you can do is, well, one thing about 28, you know that it's 4 times 7. So you can write the numerator and denominator as a combination of numbers multiplied with each other. Now 52 is a little bit tough, but since you know you have 4 times 7, see if 4 will go into 52. Well, if you're able to calculate that, you'll be able to see that 52 is equal to 4 times 13. Now this is another approach to reduce fractions because under the multiplication rules, if two numbers are multiplied with each other at the top and bottom, you can cancel things out. Because both numbers are multiplied by 4, the 4s cancel, and so you have 7 over 13. So I'm Jimmy, and here are a couple of strategies to reduce fractions.